In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this glitch effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Drew here and as you can see, this is the final output and let's look at the original picture. So this is the original and this is the final effect. As you can see, we have this really cool stripes effect going on, some color effect. Also, I'm going to show you how to create this lining we normally see in old televisions. So to create this effect, I will be using this picture that I found on pexels.com. If you want to use this picture, the download link is in description. Feel free to check it out. Now to start the effect, first of all, we have to unlock the background. So double click here and hit OK. Now rename your layer. It's extremely important. So rename it to let's say something like model. Now we have to create a blank layer. So for that, go and click here and your blank layer, put it under model and turn off eye of the model so you can see the background. Now go and select the paint bucket and here make sure you have white color, go and fill it. Now I'm gonna turn back my model layer on and activate so we have this uh, white background as backdrop. Now first let's create those glitches. So for that go and select your marquee tool, this rectangular marquee and make a selection where you want those glitches. Now so I'm gonna go and click and draw a little bit of selection here and as you can see my feather is zero and my first option is activated here. So once this is done, you right click in the middle of your selection and then you select layer via copy. Right now you can't say anything, but uh, if you turn off eye of your model layer, you can see we have this uh, little bit copy of the image. So after that, let's go to our filter, distort and here you have this wave option. It's, it can be a little bit annoying to use because it doesn't have any live preview plus the box is really small so you can't see what the hell is going on. So in the type, make sure it's square. In the number, one or two at max. Don't go further than that, otherwise it just goes real crazy and we can't see anything. So I'm gonna go and keep it to two. In the wavelength, you can play around all day, but the important part is that these two sliders, they should not be even, as you can see here. You can do that to create something different, but for this effect, I like to keep them in different direction and you can see the difference as you can see we have more control now in the amplitude it's the same story make sure those two are not even and go and play around all day however you like and in the scale the important part is the vertical uh, make sure it is one so it doesn't go upside otherwise it will just make uh, really tiny pieces we don't want that for this effect so i'm going to go that and in the horizontal this slider will allow you how far your pieces will go so I'm gonna go and keep it to somewhere around 29 and it, you will have to just judge it. So I'm gonna go and hit OK. Uh, and as you can see, this looks pretty OK. Now turn on I for your model layer so you can see how it looks here. So I think this looks pretty OK, but we can do it better. So I'm gonna press Ctrl Z. So effect is gone. Turn off your model layer. So this is back. Now go and try it again. Now as you can see it took me 3 or 4 different tries to get the effect that I needed and don't worry because this is the only part that requires a lot of trial and error but once you get through it you are good. Now let's turn on the model layer to see how the effect looks. Pretty good. Now what we have to do is make a lot of tiny boxes and apply this effect on entire image. So how are we gonna do it? First of all you have to activate your model layer. This is why we name the layers. So go and uh, activate your model layer, make sure the marquee tool is ready always uh, and make a box, uh, tiny, bigger, keep it different, uh, keep variety. So I'm gonna go and keep this one here. Now what we do, we right click, select and layer via copy. Now turn off the model layer so you can see the box here. Now it's simple, go to filter and just click on the wave and it is already there. So now again, I'm going to turn on my model layer, activate model layer, grab the marquee tool, make a selection somewhere around here, right click here, go and select layer via copy. Then again, you can go to filter and wave or you can use the keyboard shortcut, which is control F and boom, there's the effect. So one last time, select your model layer, go and select the marquee tool, make a selection, something like this, right click here, select layer via copy. So you have a different copy here. Uh, then go to your filter and wave. It's easy as that. So I'm gonna go and make uh, three or four different layers.
Now, if you are a beginner, don't freak out if you see this many layers. It's completely normal in Photoshop. And one error that might happen when you are doing this, it is something like this. You will make a selection, then you will right click and then you say layer by copy. And this box will pop up it's like there is nothing to select. So simply hit OK and make sure that your model layer is active. And then when you make the right click layer via copy, it will allow you to make a copy. See, as you can see here. So that's the only thing you have to worry about. So I'm going to go to select and deselect and about all of these crazy layers, just click on your uh, this layer, layer 10, hold your shift key and click on the top layer and then press control E. So it's on single layer, but also be careful that you don't select your model layer by mistake, only the stripes. So we have all these really cool looking strips. Now let's give them some color effects. So for that, uh, let's just name it stripe. And I'm going to make a copy of it. So press Ctrl J. After that, uh, you right click here and you go to blending options. And here you have this channels. So first I'm going to turn off G and B. So we have the cyan color. Hit OK. You might be thinking nothing happened. So I'm going to show you. Uh, activate your move tool here. Then you can use your arrow keys. So I'm going to use my arrow key to move it uh, to the left side. And if you want a little bit faster, you can also hold your shift key and move it manually, something like this. Now let's make another copy of it. So I'm gonna make, uh, I'm gonna press Ctrl J. So we have a different copy. This time I'm gonna right click, again blending option. This time I'm gonna turn off R and only thing that is on is G and B. So we have this really cool red color. Hit OK. Now what we're gonna do, uh, you can use your arrow keys like this. Or you can also hold shift key and just move it manually with your mouse. So I'm gonna go and keep this one a little bit here. It's all ready. Now just like the layers, hold your shift key and click here. So all of these three are active. You can also use control key to manually select everything. Then this time don't merge them, but simply just press control G. So they are in a group, easy to manage. Now let's see if you think I don't want this effect on this nose and this little bit on, on this eye. So what you can do is go and apply a layer mask from here and select your brush tool. Now in the brush, make sure your color is black. You right click and make sure hardness is 0% and simply remove where you don't need the effect. So I'm going to go and remove it a little bit from the eye. I'm going to keep that little one. Uh, and I think this looks pretty cool on this chin here. So don't remove that all. Pretty sweet. Now we're going to do the same with the model. So what do we do? We select the model layer. We make a copy of it. Press Ctrl J. You right click and you select blending options. And I'm going to turn off G and B. So we have the cyan and hit OK. And yes, another important tip. If you want to move with your arrow keys, you have to make sure that this move tool is active. Then you can use your arrow keys to move uh, or you can move it manually. So I'm going to go and keep this one a little bit here. So as you can see, now it blends really nice with those strips. Uh, pretty fun. Uh, so all the hard work is done. Now let's go and create those television lines. So for that, go and create a new blank layer from here. Select your paint bucket tool, right click paint bucket, old school paint. So go and fill it, the white color. Then go to filter, uh, filter gallery. And in the filter gallery, let me zoom out so you can see. Now here in the filter gallery, the style you will select is halftone pattern uh, and in the my size is 7 and 0 but it's irrelevant because if your image is different, you will need different numbers. So just play with the sliders and in the pattern type, this is important. So go and make sure it is line. Then go and hit OK. Now I'm going to go and change its blending mode to soft light. Now as you can see, the effect is right there but it's way too strong. So what I like to do is first of all go and make the opacity somewhere around like 50% so it's not too crazy. And then what you can do is right click on your layer and select blending options. And here, as you can see, you have this uh, blend if option. So what you're going to do is hold your alt key and option if you are using uh, Apple products. So I'm going to hold my alt key and drag the slider a little bit in the middle. It's not very noticeable, but this will show you. So again, for this slider, you hold your Alt key and then you drag it here. So as you can see, now it blends in real good. Uh, if I zoom in here and if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it blends in nice. Uh, and you can do same for the opposite side, but I don't want to completely remove it. So I'm going to go and keep it a little bit here. And whenever you remove the slider, hold your Alt key. So I'm going to go and hit OK. Now let's zoom out. So that's it and this is the final output. Now I will admit that this is slightly more complicated method compared to other but it also allows you a lot more creative freedom. 
Uh, so you pay something you get something and I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below and if you wanna check out more photoshop tutorials by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus it will take you to my youtube channel where I have lots of fun photoshop tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop